Growing 42 plants vertically in a compact space is now possible with this revolutionary new green stock leaf planter. In today's episode, we go over the green stock leaf planter setup and show you how you can grow a crazy amount of plants in a very small space using this vertical gardening method. Before we begin, this is a sponsored review. But as always, the review is a completely honest opinion on what I think of the product. In the package, we have the mover base, something I highly recommend, especially if you are keeping the green stock planter on a paved surface. It of course helps you move the planter around on its wheels as well. This is the top watering reservoir for the patented watering system, which makes the green stock planter unique. We have watering discs for each tier, which gets filled individually and waters each tier. And finally, we have the casters for the movers and the user manual. And here are the tiers for the green stock leaf planter. Now, the key difference between this green stock leaf planter and the original green stock planter is the difference in the height of each planter tier. The height for each tier of the green stock leaf planter is 7 inches instead of 10 inches as on the original planter. We have a 7 tier green stock planter here in chocolate brown color, which I think is really cool. But you have several color choices for the green stock leaf planter. And here is a look at each component. There are 7 tiers with 6 pockets each, giving you a whopping 42 pockets for growing plants. It still measures about 19 inches wide by 56 inches tall, which is about same as the original green stock 5 tier planter. Here are the 6 watering discs and the top water reservoir with markings for each tier. And the mover base and casters or wheels. And finally the owner's manual and setup guide. Now I noticed some new markings on the green stock leaf planter, including a fill soil level, which I think is very useful. It's important to fill the soil all the way to the top so that the plants get exposed to the full amount of light they need to and are not within the shadow of the planter itself. So with all the components laid out, it's time to assemble the planter, which is extremely easy as you'll see. And the planters are of extremely great quality. Number 5 polypropylene plastic, which is an extremely safe material, free from BPA, BPS and PVC. And it's made in the United States of America. For our custom potting mix, we use one part peat moss, one part compost, one part perlite, a few handfuls of worm castings, around two cups of an organic fertilizer with beneficial bacteria. And remember that peat moss is hydrophobic, so you'll need to add water and leave it for about an hour or so to let it soak it up. Mix the water well and let it sit for about an hour. A key ingredient in custom potting mixes which people often miss adding is a calcium source like gypsum. Add in a few handfuls and mix it in well. Congratulations, you have just created your own high quality potting mix. For those of you who like to use bagged potting mixes, you can use one from your garden center. The important thing to know is to use a potting mix, not just garden soil, as potting mixes retain more moisture far longer than regular soil or garden soil. And this is the key to growing plants in containers. Now add the potting mix to your planter and make sure to compact it slightly and fill it all the way to the top. If you prefer not using organic products due to the presence of animal remains, or if you are vegan, or if you just don't want to support the animal slaughter industry, Use a potting mix with a salt based fertilizer mixed in, which feeds plants for the complete season. You have several choices, so choose wisely. We have kept our mover base on this large saucer to collect the excess water. We now have everything ready to begin planting. Here are our planters labeled clearly with what potting mix was used to fill it, and we have filled it all the way to the top. And now we can begin planting. The green stock leaf planter is smaller than the original planter, 
So plant vegetables and herbs with medium root systems. This includes most herbs like cilantro, parsley, etc. We use a lot of cilantro, so we will be planting a lot of cilantro in this planter. And the pockets are wide enough so you can plant two or three plants in each pocket. We are also planting spinach. Again, a shallow rooted plant, easy to grow in the leaf planter. And for plants like these, the green stalk leaf planter really shines with the available space. We also planted some beets, which will grow great in this green stalk leaf planter. Summer vegetables like beans and chili peppers will also grow great in this planter. If you are planning to grow bigger plants like tomatoes or eggplants, it's a better choice to use the original green stock planter, which has more space. However, I find the design and look of the green stock leaf planter much more appealing and the space is much better utilized, in my opinion. Now our potting mix was a little dry, so we are adding water and checking if all the plants have been properly planted. This is completely optional, but is a neat little tip before setting up your tiers. I have noticed a little watering beforehand also makes the watering disc sit a little bit easier when you are setting up the tiers. So we now start setting up the tiers. The bottom tier easily snaps on to the mover base, which is why I highly recommend getting your mover base when purchasing your green stock planter. Attach the watering disc and add the next tier. It will snap fit on the lower tier and then add the next watering disc and the next tier and so on. You get the idea. After you add the topmost tier, attach the watering reservoir and congratulations, you have successfully set up your beautiful 7 tier green stock leaf planter. After the first time setup, there are two ways you can water your planter. You can use a hose, set it up in shower mode and start watering the outside pockets or as I prefer, use the patented watering system. Fill up the watering reservoir at the top of the planter with the number of tiers indicated. You may want to do this two times when initially setting up your planter. And you are done. 10 days later, you can see that the plants are settling down in the green stock leaf planter. They are looking better each day. Make sure to keep your container soil moist at all times. After 30 days, the plants are looking really good and the green stock planter has not only added a great amount of space to our garden, it just looks so good. So what is my overall verdict? For growing small to medium plants, vegetables and herbs, the green stock leaf planter is a great choice. I love its overall design and compactness and how you can grow so many plants in such a small space. However, if you prefer growing larger plants like tomatoes, eggplants, broccoli, etc., the original green stock planter may be a better choice. But just the overall look, design and utility of the green stock leaf planter makes me want to choose it over and over again as one of the best compact vertical gardening systems for your garden. Remember that you can use coupon code CAG to get $10 off your entire order when you order your products on greenstockgarden.com. So if you are planning to jumpstart your gardening this year with some serious planting, head over to greenstockgarden.com and order yours today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll see you again soon. Happy gardening. <music>